What's going on everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. So we're back at the Goodwill Benz today, trying to get a bunch of stuff to flip for a profit on eBay. Tomorrow I go up from 18 listings a day to 19 listings a day. So let's hope today's gonna be a very successful trip up here. Stay tuned guys. First item up in the bin is this pink hoodie. Let's go baby. I got this browning for the zip pullover. I think this might do well. I gotta look it up though. So these nautica jackets right here are the ones that you do want to pick up this right here is an easy 30 35 dollars so i'm glad i stumbled upon this all right guys so this shirt just looks you know kind of different so i decided to look at it and it is a cinch brand this is a western brand and i've mentioned this on my channel before a couple of times and this is a valuable brand right here so i'm gonna grab that it's gonna be a decent pickup got some basic little levi's carpenter pants these will probably do well i don't say well but these will sell you know for about 15 to 20 bucks at least i don't know about with those stains on there but we'll give it a shot i found another victoria's secret pink hoodie uh we're finding a lot of these lately man just little simple basic bread and butter items man it's not going to make you rich but it does pay the bills okay guys this is something i've never picked up before uh, the South Red is 100% on this brand, Old Mill, surprisingly. These are flannel lines, so uh, if they don't sell this season, I'll have to wait till next year. But I'm going to go ahead and grab those because the sold comps are looking like 30 bucks for these. This is another brand I've never heard of, Denali. But the South Red is over 100%, so we're going to grab these and take a chance on those as well. So I'm 100% not sure why somebody didn't grab these Miss Me jeans because as far as I can tell, there's literally nothing wrong with them, guys. So, uh, so for the fact that they're a little small, maybe size 29, but hey, I'm going to go ahead and get them because their loss is my game for sure. All right, guys, so I got this pair of Big Star jeans. I guess people left them behind because they aren't the ones with the uh, super uh, gaudy pockets, but that's going to be a good pickup. And then they also left these BKE Tyler jeans. There's nothing wrong with these either. I don't understand why people are leaving these behind, but their loss, like I said, is my game. So I'm going to pick both of those pairs up. Now I did find another pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These are distressed in the front and between the legs. So I'm not going to be able to pick those up. All right, guys. So we got us a full cart here. Tons of homework to do. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we got us a pair of American Eagle kick boot jeans. Let's see here. Kick boot, they're size six, and they are selling for anywhere between $15.99, $20, free shit, whatever. $19, $17, $20, $15, huh? That's more like it. $27 free shit, $30. So yeah, anyway, anywhere between $15 to $25, I would just say. I'm not going to go as high as $30 just because I've sold these plenty of times before. But I know that I usually take a best offer of around $18. So I'm definitely going to get these. Okay, guys, so we got us some Banana Republic 078 model. There are six listed and seven sold for $26.95, $20, $18.71. $35, 30 or 22, 23, and 21. So I'm definitely gonna pick these up, guys. That's about a $20 bill set right here. We got another pair of American Eagle kick boot jeans. These are also a size six. I think that maybe the same person donated these because I actually had more than these two, but one of them was grass stained, so I put them back. So I'm gonna get these along with the other pair. So I don't really need to give you guys comps on these, do I? I'm figuring you guys know that these are about $35 to $40 jeans. So yeah, we're just going to assume you guys know this and keep it moving. All right, guys. So we got this Huck fishing brand. These are women's uh, shorts. They're called dock fishing shorts when I Google lens them. There are no sold comps of these on eBay yet. There are others like this listed and sold, but not this particular kind. So I'm going to go ahead and list these because I know Huck is a great brand to look out for, especially when it comes to uh, fishing gear. And the summertime is coming up, so people are going to be out there on their boats, and this is going to be a good item. And I know that it's going to sell good. And uh, probably get about $25 on these, honestly, guys. So look out for this brand, Huck. 
Okay guys, so I'm looking at this Victoria's Secret pink shirt and there is a stain on the sleeve. I'm not even gonna mess around with trying to take this home and clean it because um, it's just not gonna be worth it, honestly guys, because I'm pretty sure that that thing is in there. So Victoria's Secret pink stain, probably not like, you know, Levi's where it'll still sell. I'm not really sure about women liking their stuff stain free or not, so I'm not gonna risk it. All right guys, so on these vintage uh, Levi's, covering their pants i'm not seeing any sole comps on them and uh as much as i want to get them just because they're vintage levi's it doesn't make sense for me to get them if they're not going to sell so i'm gonna go ahead and put those back okay guys so this cinch uh paisley shirt there's 37 listed 47 sold and this one right there is this one right there is the exact one for 19.93 but uh let's scroll a little bit they're selling for all types of prices, 28, 30, 17, 20, 49, brand new, I believe, 16, 29. So this is gonna be a $20 bill or so sitting right here. It's pretty crispy, man. So I might list it for 25 and then accept best offers. Okay, guys, so this nautical competition jacket is stained more than I'd like to uh, try to clean up. The sleeves are stained, the neck lining is stained. Uh, I just don't think that's gonna come out, you know what I mean, with an OxyClean bath. So with the amount of effort that it's gonna take to try to sell this, I'm just gonna have to pass on it, guys. So it sucks, cause there's some good $35 bill sitting right here. Okay, guys, I got this Cabela Tribal shirt. Um, I think it's probably vintage, but the comps on this are looking pretty decent. Uh, there's not very many listed, but there is a couple sold not this exact one has sold but some very similar to it has sold for one for 34.95 and then another one for 20. but when i go back here's the exact one that i have listed for 48 bucks here's one very similar listed to it for 45 and we got 29 19 16 30 34 everybody's listing there's pretty high there's the same one I got for $44 again. So what I'll probably do is just list it for 25 bucks and see what happens. Okay guys, so what we have here is a pair of Wrangler Riggs workwear pants. These are uh, 3630. There are 29 listed, 28 sold, and they're selling for 1099, one bid, 1099, 19.99, 9.99, 24.99, 44.99, 23.99, 14.99. 2318 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get these and i'm going to list them for 20 bucks and see what happens guys okay guys so this browning pullover it was not worth it something red is terrible on it and it's only selling for like a dollar so i'm going to put it back now here we have a basic under armor hoodie it's a uh, extra large army green there's 57 listed and 189 sold but they do vary in color of green but for the most part i could find a lot of army green ones or olive green or whatever drab color you want to call this but uh i'm seeing comps anywhere from 20 to 25 to 35 dollars so i say it's safe to say that uh, i could probably get 25 bucks off this thing at the lowest probably 20 and uh oh well never mind let's see if that'll come off Nope, that's in there. I'm not gonna waste my time with paint because paint's not gonna come off and Under Armour's not that good of a brand to be trying to mess with getting the paint off. Okay guys, so I was walking by the bands and there was this Orvis flannel shirt just laying out dead open, just like, you know, on display, like someone had looked at it and passed it up. So me knowing that Orvis is an okay brand to look out for and depending on what it is that you get, I looked it up. And lo and behold, there's one that sold right there for 19 bucks on the 24th, just four days ago. But uh, I guess they just didn't know. So here's some comparable ones, uh, 24, 24, 35. That one's 55, but look at that one. That's definitely vintage with the stripes. $19, I'll say that I can at least get the same. Cha-ching, I'll say that I can at least get the same 19 bucks as well. Just sold some Ralph Lauren socks. Let's go, baby. 
all right so uh that's going to be the last item right here guys to display for you guys look at this big old stack of clothes man uh a lot of it is bread and butter items like levi's jeans that i just didn't even go over with you guys because i'm sure you're tired of seeing me pick up levi's jeans and american eagle jeans so um we'll go get us a total and i'll break it down for you guys at the car as usual all right guys so here we are back at the car we got a total of 38 items i spent sixty dollars and 88 cents for a total buy cost of a dollar sixty per item so that's going to be a really good day here at the goodwill bands man really hope you guys enjoyed the footage catch you guys on the next one but until then let's make this cash guys peace